Hello everyone, Cladager here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing the glitch video number 2. Um, I did say, I think in the last video I did say I might do this next year sometime. But, as you can see on your screen uh, right now, I have a lot of uh, glitches that I found. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started shall we? The glitches are going to be starting like this. like. Before, on the um, first episode, I had like four different categories or whatever. There was like vehicles, general glitches, everyday glitches or whatever. This one is just going to be, um, there's no categories, it's just going to be glitches to like the worst, to the most common, if that makes any sense. I don't know. <laughs> so we're going to start off with something. Um, this So this footage that you see right now, um, it should have been in the, um, what do you call it, helping new players, uh, number four. I was going to do that, well, I was going to just getting footage for that for next year or sometime later this month or whatever. Because this guy was actually quite nice. This this guy in the game, the host, knew me, so he, was, he seems quite nice, so I decided to help him out. And then out of nowhere, this happened. So yeah, it's one of them glitches that you have like a thousand hours, two thousand hours, three thousand hours, or even four thousand hours, and you have never seen anything like this. This is the, that type of glitch to me. I have three thousand three hundred hours, and I have never ever seen this glitch before. It's really strange. It's like my game slows down, speeds back up, slows down, speeds back up, and when I try and move my arms, my camera is like locked and my arms move around everywhere. It's weird as hell. I don't know how it happened. I don't know what caused it, but yeah. <laughs> so I was actually able to move around a little bit. So eventually I did get into the escape and in the um, victory screen, if you want to call it that, I don't know what you call it this. Um, it was just really slow. And then when the host goes to the cards, I'm assuming it's the cards, it's just a black screen. <laughs> and eventually I just decided to quit the game and then got back into the game and it's fixed. So I really don't know how it happens, but it's a thing, I guess. <laughs> I actually have two glitches on Brooklyn Bank. First off was this one right here, just playing, again I was just helping some new players. And then out of nowhere this guy decides to join, and then he immediately dies. Way back in the elevator where you're supposed to go down to help that person. <laughs> I really don't know how that happened, I'm assuming maybe he didn't zipline and he just fell. I don't even know if you can do that. Pretty sure there's an, like, an invisible wall there so he won't fall down, but I'd never even try it, honestly. I mean, I couldn't get him because, yeah, he was on top of the elevator, but I tried. And then the game just decides to end. <laughs> because the, I'm guessing the host decided to terminate contract for some reason. And then he leave, and then he just leaves. I was really confused that day. So, like I said, there was actually another glitch on Brooklyn 1010. Um... Again, I was just helping some new players. I mean, there was a level 0, level 3, and level 13. So, <laughs> I was helping them out. And then, at the very end, you need to move them cop cars, or t like two, two cop cars, yeah, to let your van in so you can escape. So, on this, for the first um, cop car, I decided to stand on top of the door to move it, just because I f felt like it. <laughs> and then the game decided just to teleport me in to the into the cop car I couldn't really escape until I had to until I crouched and then just ran forward and then I got out
So that is all with the Brooklyn 1010 stuff. Oh, this is... This glitch right here is actually really specific. If you don't have a second screen, you don't know um, what this glitch is. But Payday 2 is literally the only game that does this. I tried it on every other game, nothing happens. If this even happens to my brother when he played Payday 2, like two years ago. <laughs> if you have a second screen and you're playing Payday 2, it's like um, when you're in Payday 2 and you have another window open on your second monitor, you can scroll, it's like scroll up and down on both uh, Payday 2 and the second monitor tab. As you can see right here, I had to use my iPhone, not my iPhone, but my phone to um, capture this. But yeah, it's strange. I don't like this glitch at all. It's so annoying. Like I said, if you don't have um, a second monitor or even a third monitor, uh, you won't be able to notice this because yeah, it's obvious, <laughs> but it's a thing. It's, it's, it's really annoying. Payday 2 is literally the only game that does it, to my knowledge anyway. Maybe I have an option that's wrong, or turned on or turned off or whatever, and it's making that happen, but either way, it's annoying. <laughs> so I saw this on um, the Steam forums, on the uh, Hoxton Breakout mission, day one. You can put first aid kits or ammo bags or even trip mines on top of this van and then whatever you put on there just floats. And also this was part of the update, all the snow and Christmas theme stuff, it's part of the update, so yeah. <laughs> Which I really do like. Anyway, if you put anything on top of the van in this spot right here in the back, where Hoxton uh, hides or whatever, and you make the van move, whatever you put there just floats. It's strange, but if you put it on the very side of the um, van, like a trip mine or whatever, it blows up. Even if you put like fire, or throw a molotov on top of the van, it's... The fire just sticks there and just... <laughs> I don't know, it's strange nonetheless as well. Pretty sure molotovs don't work like that. I guess they kind of do. And, and as you can see right here, I literally just follow the van and putting my f trip mines and first aid kits and it's just a big line of first aid kits and at the end there's two or three trip mines. It's really funny. I have some explaining to do on this glitch right here. Um, I was gonna do, uh, when you go into slow motion and you um, throw something at one of these bikers heads, their head literally just stretches across the freaking room. Sometimes it does. <laughs> but then I decided to use my little um, free camera program, which is a mod. Um, I use it for getting cinematic shots. With, the, with that mod, you can slow down time. So I decided to use the slow motion for my program, the slow motion thing in, the, in this mod, with the slow motion in the game, and some strange things happened. Take a look. So yeah, people just go flying for no reason. I don't know how this actually happens. And yes, it's like a really specific thing because you need this slow motion mod to make it work so no one will actually see it or notice it or experience it or whatever. But like I said, it's a thing nonetheless. <laughs> it's really funny. At the end of this clip as well, it was the most strangest thing I've ever seen. I did, I reset, did this again just so I can get some more shots because I decided to shoot him with my shotgun instead and see what happens and they just went flying like, yeah, that's pretty normal. So I don't know why throwables make them go crazy, make their ragdoll go crazy. Anyway, like I said, at the very end I decided to go outside because I wanted to kill more enemies to make them go flying. And then I saw this guy literally, like, I don't know how to explain this guy. Just have a look. <laughs> yeah, I paused the game right there because I was literally dying on laughter. I was so 
I was laughing so hard. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I went outside because I wanted to make people go flying because I still had like six more shurik shurikens and a ton of ammo, so why not make people go flying? And just out of nowhere, this guy decides to come out around the, around the corner with his feet going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, overkill. I love your game. I love it. So this next clip right here is actually um, something that someone actually uh, suggested, I guess you can say, or told me that I missed. It's a out of the map glitch. Uh, in this corner of the bank heist, it's actually quite hard to do, but you need to like sit on this pipe right here, this black pipe or whatever. You need to hug against this wall and go down as slow as you can to the ground while sprinting and jumping into the corner. You need to do, you need to sprint and jump really fast and you eventually you will just go straight through the wall. It's hard to do, but you need to do this on 30 FPS, I believe. I'm not sure though. But yeah, all you need to do is hug that wall, go down the pipe as slowly as you possibly can while jumping and sprinting against that wall and eventually you'll just go right through. And you can see inside the vault. <laughs> I will say I d it did take me a couple of tries to do it, but like I said, you'll eventually do it, so yeah. And if the camera guy is actually in this room, you can kill him. <laughs> but you can't get in there, I believe. Unless you go under the ground, and then you get teleported back up, so you can answer the pager. Would you relax? Nothing is gonna happen. So this next clip, um, I was actually in Beecroft's stream. If you don't know Beecroft, he's, a, he's another PD2 YouTuber. He doesn't do much videos these days, honestly. He mainly streams, so yeah. Um, I was in his stream playing the game with him, with some other people. I was playing um, Scarface Mansion Death Sentence 1 Down, because uh, he always does Death Sentence 1 Down. And then, out of nowhere, um, I've no idea what this guy's name is, but he was just outside chilling. <laughs> you couldn't kill him at all. He was just outside chilling. <laughs> like, nothing's happening. Fucking tanks, man. That's not Sousa, is it? And you could probably hear uh, Beecroft in the background because I was watching his stream while playing the game. Again, another glitch that I just don't understand. How is this guy actually out of his room? He's meant to be in his room and all that stuff. You couldn't kill him, you couldn't tase him. You just couldn't do anything with him. He was just there. Can't kill him, can we? He decided to take a walk out and the door's not open. And eventually I just walked away and then came back and he was just gone. He was he was gone and his weapon was just floating there. It was, it was so strange. Oh, he left. He completely left. So this glitch right here, I don't know if they actually fixed in the recent update because I... Usually with the updates I just look through it a tiny bit and just leave it alone. Water Crystal Mission, I think it was called, or something. The one, the Cook-Off 2.0, let's say that. When you burn down the uh, meth lab, when you have like two bags already, the mission doesn't fail. Or maybe you don't even need two bags. But either way, you burn down the meth lab and the mission doesn't even end. So you have no choice to reset by yourself, but because the host was level 5, like, he just didn't know what's going on. <laughs> Alright, so, this one. Oh boy. Overkill, P if you're watching this, please fix this glitch. This is one of the worst ones. Out of every single one of these glitches, please fix this one. This is the worst. <laughs> so, when someone uh, like crashes, I don't think it happens when, this one, when someone leaves the game. I think when someone crashes, it replaces with an AI. And that AI becomes like a free roaming AI, just decides to walk around. And for whatever reason, Every single time they don't actually go through the bank like a normal person, they go straight through a window and um, detect everyone. Or make everyone be detected or whatever. Out of every single glitch, please fix this one. Because this being this glitch has been going on for years. <laughs> Literally years. 
Like I said, I don't know if it happens when someone leaves the game. It only matters if someone crashes, or should I say disconnects, not leaves. So, please, please fix this. So now we're going to be doing the um, more minor glitches, I suppose. So this one, I was just in my inventory trying to make a build, and then I noticed this weird thing. It doesn't really affect the game, honestly, because it doesn't do much, but if you put your cursor in the middle of the arrow and the little thing where you select all your builds, like build profiles, if you put your mouse in between them two things, this happens. It, it's like the um, the game is like uh, selecting the mouse or the little uh, arrow I meant, and the profile thing at the same time, and it's just going between them really, really quickly, and it just makes that weird noise. So again, this one I was just um, making a random build, and I noticed that I have no skills at all, but I have two deployables. You can only have two deployables if you have Ace um, Jack of All Trades. And I have no skills at all, and I have two deployables. But when you try to equip an, the um, second deployable, it doesn't allow you. So basically, you can have a double double cake, or in, that's my case anyway, double cake. <laughs> but it's a medic bag for most people. So you can have a double medic bag. Um, the only way you can change the second one is to mouse over it and scroll down, up and down, to change it. Again, most of these glitches should have been fixed, or could have been fixed, I'd say, in the recent update that happened yesterday, when I'm recording this video but again I don't know because I just look through the update a tiny bit see what's good and then yeah go from there so this one I actually found out in my uh, Mythbusters number two video in in the heist car shop if you line up yourself perfectly with the edge of these um what do you call it, these bushes you can slide across them again I don't know how this works <laughs> it doesn't really affect the game because these are like minor glitches now, but yeah, it's strange nonetheless. It shouldn't really do that, really. Why is the p the um, bushes so um, slidey? <laughs> so another minor glitch, um, I was just helping these two people uh, do this and I was just wondering what the hell this guy was doing. The host was just running around telling everyone to stay down, but I was thinking there's no red marks so there's no point trying to get them down when they're already like cable tied or whatever. And then the person that was drilling the vault said to me, go outside and like tie the people up. I was thinking, tie who up? There's no, there's no one out there because there's no marks. And eventually I actually went out there and there's some civilians not ma not uh, tied up. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a bit strange. So sometimes there's no little red marks above their heads, I suppose. So you don't know where the civilian is. I don't know what causes it or how it happens, but it's a thing. It's minor, yeah, but still, it's annoying. Because if um, the host and this other guy wasn't smart enough, like a lower level, they wouldn't, they wouldn't know. And I wouldn't know because I wouldn't see them. And then we could have failed the mission just like that. So this next glitch is just the most common thing when it comes to No Mercy with the elevator. Again, I don't know how it actually happens. I'm pretty sure if people start like walking around or jumping in the elevator when it's moving, they just get flung up sh <laughs> straight to the top of the elevator thing, the elevator shaft, I'll say, and just never come back. But this case, he did come back, so. And sometimes people get like uh, traps behind the closed elevator door, but I couldn't get footage of that because it doesn't really happen that often. Pretty sure they fixed that now because there's like an invisible wall there or something when the um, thing closes. Okay, so the very last thing on the minor list of this glitch video, and obviously the last thing of this entire video, um, I saw this in the mod uh, workshop. I was just browsing around and I saw this there was a glitch with the deagle when you run out of ammo with most or some pistols when you run out of ammo the slide of it just stays back because it's like an aesthetic thing which is really nice but with the deagle when you're on your last bullet and you shoot it the slide goes so far back <laughs> that's not realistic at all again I use my little um, program to slow time down so you can see this better 
And as you can see right here, it's really normal. The slide's nice and normal. And then on my last bullet I do, the slide goes so far back. <laughs> That's just really stupid. And then after that, I said to myself, I wonder what other weapons um, behave strangely. So I went for the um, dual Berettas. And they seemed fine in slow motion. The slides don't like break or whatever. They seem fine. This is fine. And then I started looking at reload. <laughs> oh boy, this game when it comes to reload stuff is funny. I think out of all the weapons I tested, the worst reload one I have ever seen was this one right here, the Queen's Wrath, I think it's called. So, where do I start with this one? Oh my god. Again, I'm using my program to like no clip so you can see the magazine better, but just look for yourself. I mean, to be fair, with this reload as well, you don't need to go into like this no clip thing to see this bad reload. All you need to do is have your custom FOV mod on and have it on like 1.8 or 1.9, and you can still see the magazine just flip around or just stick there, <laughs> and then your other hand just picks up the same magazine and puts it back in. It's. I just. I just don't know. So that is the end of the video. Um, I did say at the very beginning there wasn't any like categories or whatever, but I guess there was only two. There was like uh, minor glitches, which is stuff like this, and other stuff which is like more um, major, I guess you can say, and things that should be fixed. The minor stuff shouldn't really be fixed, but I mean, if Overkill, if the people at Overkill wants to, they can. <laughs> so that is the end of the video. Um, I hope you guys like this video and I don't know what's going to be next on my list because currently I am just doing whatever comes up. <laughs> I was actually going to do a little little uh, review of the update that happened uh, yesterday when I'm recording this video, but the video might be like 10 minutes or not even actually, maybe like 5 minutes long. I mean, I might do it, knowing me. <laughs> but yeah. Hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.